In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a visualizer like the one you just saw. And to do that, we'll use this add-on I made called Visualizer. You'll go to my GitHub page and you click clone or download and download a zip. I'll download it to my desktop and save it. And then I'll open up Blender and I'll go to File, User Preferences, Install from File, and Desktop and Visualizer. And actually, I think I already installed it before, so I'll remove one of them. And I'll click this checkbox and then Save User Settings. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to delete the light and this cube. And I will click on the camera and press Alt G, Alt R to remove its position and location. And then I'm going to press M and move it to a bottom layer. And I am going to click this button. And the user interface for Visualizer is located here and down all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to click this button to import a song. I'll click this. And now our song is imported. And I would like to, uh, I guess, hear the song. So I'll click this to add it to the sequencer and press Alt A to play. Yep, it works. So now uh, I would like to build my visualizer. So I actually am going to go with all these default settings. You can change the number of bars. The amplitude is kind of the height of the bars, the spacing between the bars, all that stuff. You can even use a radial visualizer but I'll just like the, the default one. So I click this button and it will generate. All right, it's a pretty short clip so that doesn't take very long. So now I'll press the seven key to get the top view and I'll kind of scroll out because it ends up being pretty big and I'll press Alt A to play. And there you can see our, uh, our visualizer working just fine. So now I would like to add some color to my visualizer. So I'm going to click on one of these and go up to materials and add a new material. And uh, I don't know, we'll use an orange color about like that. And I'll switch it to shadeless. And now with one of them selected, I will press the A key and select all the others. You can see that this one has kind of a more bright orange color. That be, that's because it's the active object. So with the colored one being the active object, I will click or uh, press Control L. And I that's to link data. And I'm going to link the material data of all of these to this one. So now they all share the same material. And that's cool. So let's bring in the camera again. Actually, uh, I'll press the shift key and bring in both layers and I'm going to raise the camera up on the Z axis just a little bit. And I'm going to actually let's scale it up just to make it easier to see where our camera is. And now I'm going to switch to orthographic and I'll press the zero, zero key to see what the camera is seeing. And uh, I'm going to uh, press G Y to move the camera along the Y axis. And actually, let's uh, zoom in just a little bit so I can see and we'll just kind of line it up there on the bottom of, of it. But you can see that we're not seeing all of the bars. So I'm going to go to orthographic scale and uh, scale it all the way up. So we'll have to reset the position of the camera on the Y axis. Let's, uh, I just need to see all of the bars. OK, that's probably a pretty good spot. So again, I'll just set the camera line it up a little bit. Maybe I should add that to the add on, make it so that there's a button for aligning the camera, but I don't know, I probably won't. So all right, so now it looks like our camera is lined up pretty well with all of our bars. So yeah, that looks great. So one thing I'm going to do, I'll go to the render settings, and I will switch the background to transparent. That's important. And so now our bars are set up, let's add our picture. So I'll go to the compositing window and I'll check the use nodes. Let's add in a picture. I'm just gonna use a cool sci-fi picture I found online a few minutes ago called Distant Sky. And we will put the image in the background. So I'll use uh, color alpha over and uh, we want it to be the, the first layer that's laid down, so it's going to go in the first slot. And uh, so let's see how that renders out. I'll press F12, 
Great, that looks cool, except uh, personally, I kind of like my visualizer to have some reduced opacity, you know, a little bit of transparency. So I'm gonna go here to the FAC setting and I'll change this, I don't know, to 0.333. Great, I think that looks pretty good, personally. So now that I've got all of that set up, I will go to the render settings, make sure everything looks good, set it to PNG, I'll set the output to desktop. Uh, we'll make a folder on the desktop where all these images can go. Uh, visualizer example. Okay. And click accept. And then I'll click render and you will be able to see what this is going to look like. You won't have to wait for it to render. So I hope you've liked this tutorial and uh, hope you find it useful.